<coughs> uh, hi, I'm Café de Jour for uh, June, June 20th, 2021, and uh, welcome to Muffin Review. Uh, the muffin was good. Um, so before I start saying anything, let me just tell you that the lamp is um, directly shining into my eyes. Um, it hurts quite a bit, but um, at least it makes my face look less shadowy. And I know what you're thinking, right? Uh, Matthew, your hair is fucking whack. It looks like, it looks like your head is uneven. Because that's a fucking slope. And I have to agree with you. Um, after this I'll be taking a shower and then on Tuesday I'll be having a haircut, so... Uh, we shouldn't have to deal with this too much. Just a little bit worried that uh, this uh, uh, barber is going to give me the uh, my mom situation where uh, I ask her to trim a little bit and then um, she fucking takes off my whole head. <clears throat> um, in any case, today I woke up quite late because yesterday after filming I stayed up for two more hours to do I have no fucking idea what. I think we talked about Among Us and I talked about try to keep uh, their talk, uh, I think Tanner and Noah was talking about uh, like anime they watch. Noah's like, uh, Naruto's my favorite anime. And then Tanner's like, Matthew, your taste in fucking, your taste in shit is fucked up. It's whack. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And I tried to make them read uh, the manga about like the, the girl who like, like emotionally abused the other girl and the other girl turns out to be fucking like got fucking twisted and started emotionally abusing the first girl some insane shit um, but yeah we were talking about that um, so which led to me falling asleep when the day when the night sky has become blue and when, when day time started coming out and the birds start chirping but then that resulted in me waking up at 10 and stay in bed watching YouTube videos until like 12 so today, um, at home is quite nice, weather was great, not a cloud, okay, couple, several, many clouds in the sky, but yeah, uh, not, no wind, just bright sun, uh, it's hot, but not too hot to be uncomfortable, and it's just a really nice day outside, so I took the advantage of the day and, um, washed, uh, clean, washed my shoes, wash my shoes or clean my shoes, or brush my shoes, I'm not sure exactly what word I should use with that, um, in Chinese, the word is to shua xie, so that's uh, brush the shoes, so I'm gonna go with that. Anyways, so I cleaned up my uh, Timbs and my uh, Champions, white champion. I, I dyed on those shoes, dyed dirt, I don't know their color, um, and brand. And uh, the fact that they're right there. Yeah, the... Okay, you can barely see it, but those fuckers. And yeah, um... And when I was cleaning it, I discovered the, uh, I realized exactly how powerful, fuck, um, the laundry detergent is, because, uh, uh, when I clean those shoes, I use, what I do is I take this, like, high-power laundry detergent powder, and I just rub it on the shoe, and then I hit it with, like, a nice stiff brush. Um, what happened was that, because when I was, I'm rubbing it right, and the thing gets on my hand, and it's when it activates the detergent, my the entire skin on my fucking thumb and the surrounding areas is like fucking peeling off. Not like as a whole, but like just like little, like individual little bits, right? It's like, it's like, it's like if you have a like a fucking like is, it, like how do I describe this? It's like if you have a piece of like have a piece of denim, like you have your pants and stuff, and you rub it up a little bit, so all the fucking like strings and wires and furs and stuff like start popping out. That's how it feels right now. It's really weird, but it does give me a kind of grip. Uh, yeah, so having clean shoes is always cool, especially since uh, I'm gonna be using them um, for skateboarding because uh, today, as I said yesterday, I was going I went to a skateboard shop to purchase a skateboard upon which I skated boarded um, so I decided to buy I wanted to I always wanted to buy a long board right just because it's supposed to be used mostly for commuting but I purchased one um, I decided to go for a land yacht uh, dinghy 
because apparently it's good for my circumstance. It's a cruiser, so it's a little bit shorter than a long board, so it's not stable and whatnot. But um, because I'll be riding in an urban environment, I have to go up, up and down fucking curbs and uh, swerve around people a lot. So um, if I could, the experts could be trusted. Um, it was a uh, I, I bought it to see my needs. And you could see it's right there. That nice pattern there that you can see. And I won't let you. And I won't bother letting you see that because I'm a bad person. <clears throat> Afterwards, I decided to get um. I decided to get try to get some uh, books as a graduation gift to my teachers. But like my. But like um. What I realized was that um, the books are fucking expensive. That I wanted to buy this, uh, chi the hundred year marathon, for my teacher, Mr. Peters, right? And it was like a little volume. It wasn't too big, and I checked the fucking price. It was thirty, like <laughs> twenty six dollar Canadians, and that's that's fucking ridiculous. Um, I ended up um, collaborating with a bunch of my friends in school to buy like a hockey jersey for Mr. Carers, and that was less than the fucking book, for me at least. So, I decided to go to the used bookstore and find something meaningful. Kind of like want to expand that into something about like how, like, I I saw this when I was like with my mom, right? It's just like she places like. Like to her, right, and of course to a lot of other people, the importance of the gift is in the, like the condition that it is, and the price that it is, and the um, inherent and the value to, it has. I stick to the the money, but like, like isn't that like as Mark said, that's commodity fetishism. That's it. That isn't it. The, the it's valuable because it's um, given lots of value. Because it's uh, worth a lot of money. It's not. I know. I know. That's not what commodity fetishism is. But I don't have a better word for it, so I'm going to misuse that term. Right, like it's uh it's good because because the the numbers says it's good, and not because it has any inherent meaning that makes it more or less meaningful to the context, which would actually give it its uh, value, which is a war nor its inherent value and in how uh, good it is, or how useful it is. So I was like really sad about that and. Like taking it back on it, like I can't really like uh, criticize my parent mom because I am like guilty. I was also guilty of like the consumerist culture. Um, I'm a little bit better now, but like just a couple of weeks ago, I had like this sudden like urge to just I need to buy this, I need to buy fucking that, I need to buy all this shit. And like now, I realize that honestly, I have it pretty good. I don't need shit. Uh, when I go to college, I got everything I need. Besides my passport, which I still have handed in because I don't have my passport pictures. Um, yeah, so... Uh, what I'm saying is that... Like, I don't know. Um, consumerism is just a strong fucking force, and um, it touches all of us. And it's completely unavoidable. And even I, a communist, still feel the urge to... Fucking just, like, spend loads of money on, like, frivolous bullshit. Like... For like a long time, I just like suddenly felt the urge to fucking buy a uh, new laptop. But like, that's not really necessary, is it? Though, is it? Because uh, my laptop is actually like really fucking good. It's got a nice touch screen. It's got a nice keyboard. Um, it's fast enough. It can run games like shitty games, but games. Um, it's got a touch screen. It's got a pen. It works with OneNote. And it's light and it's portable. It's just battery isn't too fucking good, but but I don't know. It's not justified for me to uh, go and spend another thousand dollars just so I can be a little bit more uh, visually similar to actual programmers. Yeah, no, like I I realized it's like you know mouse up crit turner. Um, it was it was it would have been fr like extremely frivolous and stupid of me to just buy a new laptop just because. Um, I think I can manage the, the one I currently have. <sighs> yeah, um, I think from now on when I buy things, I'm going to subscribe to like the uh, like the week rule, where um, if I'm thinking of buying something, I'll wait a whole week before buying it first, and then I'll wait a whole week, 
and then if by the end of the week I still want it, like obviously like not something like food, right? If it's something like I don't know a tripod, and by the I'll wait a week, and if by the end of the week I still want it, then I'll consider forking out the money. But it's like it's kind of the same as not going hung going to groceries uh, shopping with while hungry, right? You want to uh, have a clear fucking train of thought when uh, messing with this kind of stuff, especially how like disgusting. Uh, Amazon is with uh, making it re uh, with like convincing you to just spend money on frivolous bullshit. It's so fucking disgusting how easy to spend money on Amazon. I was ordering some uh, screen protectors for my phone, and all I had to do to spend fourteen dollars to get some fucking shit shipped for me from Ontario. Is there a whole load, like uh, Rube Goldberg machine of misery to get the shit shipped to my house? Was to fucking slide to the slide the button to the right. As if I'm in the fucking like like a like an old iPhone. What else happened today? Yeah, um, I didn't do my JavaScript homework. I kind of feel bad for that. I feel really bad for that. I'm gonna do it on Monday. Um, and on top of that, I I play lots of games and Ricky and Kevin and of course me because I had to be involved. Got into this gigantic fucking argument again about some bullshit that happened in the game and uh, we got around to talking about how like the source of this stuff and how fucking useless this kind of argument is but but we all know that this is gonna be the last argument that shit goes to repeat but maybe we, we learned some I, I'm not going I'm not comfortable to say it in front of this camera just because uh, um, I'm not sh I'm not uh, sure if I'm allowed to share the information or not but I feel like we learn about each other um, Somewhat from this uh, argument, so I can't say it's too useless, but hopefully, like, hopefully that this kind of shit doesn't happen again, even though uh, you can be better ass that it's well. And if we're reaching that point at night where my brain is shutting off and my words are becoming disconnected, <sighs> I think I really should. Uh, watch replay my videos back because uh, after watching my physics presentation that I had on last Wednesday I think it was um, I talk in like little bursts right so instead of talking for a long time in a very stable stream I would talk really fast for a certain amount of time and I have long breaks and then uh, during the which time I don't have breaks it would be very awkward and when I speak really when I actually speak it's fast to the point where it's incomprehensible so I'm going to um, try to put an effort to slow down my speech and try to even out the pacing a little bit because I realize that's important took me a while but here I am alright uh, I think that's everything I want to talk about today I'll continue to learn to skateboard today I uh, know how to fucking push and curve or carve but and how to pick up a board properly, but I still have much to learn. Like, if I like once I know how to fucking go over like a big curb, and then at that point I think I'll say I'm I'm done with my, I'm I I can be a fucking longboarder. Yeah, uh, have to have to take a shower and whatnot. I'll con I'll do this tomorrow. Uh, and unlike previous times, I'm gonna upload, upload this immediately. So don't forget what to fucking title these videos. Alright, thanks. This is uh, Cafe de Jour for June 20th, 2021. This is Matthew Liu checking out.